Hey everyone, my name is Leslie Barlow and I'm an artist and educator from Minneapolis, Minnesota and I'm also one of the artists that joined the newly formed Creatives After Curfew Artist Collective. We started meeting about a week after George Floyd was killed. Um, one, because we were grieving. Two, because we wanted to be in community with other artists. And three, because, you know, we're storytellers and we have this particular skill set of, of creating visual art and we knew that we could do something in solidarity with the uprising that was forming. And so pretty quickly the collective was born and we started going out in the streets and making murals. And I think, let's see, it's been a month and a half since we started and there's probably upwards of 30 murals now around Minneapolis. We are a decentralized collective, we are BIPOC and queer led. We work with community on the murals, so there are you know volunteers that come in, students, just other community members that we invite to paint as well. So it's an incredibly collaborative process. And you know, the messages of our work um, really center uh, definitely George Floyd as well as other folks who have been killed by police, you know, just honoring them, remembering their names. Um, we also, you know, center black liberation, um, indigeneity, uh, abolish, abolishing the police, police and just, you know, all black lives matter and a number of things you can look on our website um, to learn more about our narrative strategies. But at the end of the day, at least personally for me, it's about supporting and elevating black artists and our voices during this time because um, I think that can sometimes get lost in um, all the excitement about the public art that's going up. And really we're making this work because of um, the messaging I just shared, right? The murals um, are one part of the larger movement and it's also important to center black lives and black stories and black artists in that movement as well. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's important work for me. It's important work for the artists that I'm working with and make sure to support black artists in your area, street artists, graffiti artists, um, and let them be the ones to tell their own stories.